Hi guys, this is Marcel with The Pulse. Yes, this is not my usual backdrop, bedroom studio slash backdrop. Uh, I'm on vacation in Florida. We spent a week in uh, Daytona with the family. It was fantastic. And now a few days in Orlando, heading back to Germany on uh, Easter Sunday. Um, someone sent me a Twitter post uh, from David Sinclair. And it was, a, it was a reply to a comment about uh, NMN. And it was essentially, you know, why, uh, if there's all this supportive evidence basically showing that NMN's a no-brainer, why is it being taken off the market? Now, what's really fascinating about this is one, like David Seclair's comment just kind of, it's very brief. And some of you uh, Sinclair apologists are gonna read into this and say, oh man, he's overreacting. It, but you, there's enough there on a couple of points, a couple of aspects that are unambiguous. It's, you know, it's self-absorption <laughs> uh, to the max. So let's, let's uh, that's really where I wanna go with this. But basically the backdrop here is um, this commenter who's a podcaster with hundreds of thousands of followers. Uh, he does a financial Bitcoin type uh, podcast and he asked, David Sinclair this question about NMN. And Sinclair comes back with this comment, I've been getting screwed for 50 years, you know. Uh, I'm getting screwed again. And what's missing is the context because this Twitter thread, I can't find it anymore. It's cached in Google, someone sent it to me, they did a screenshot, but I didn't get the before part of the discussion. But we got enough here to figure out that David Sinclair made a question about NMN about himself. Right, and I would, I predict that maybe even the OP, but all of the people that saw this are like, wait a minute, he's asking you if this is so effective and all the science is behind NMN, why is it being taken off the market? He's not asking you, why aren't you being enriched? Right, why aren't you making buck? Why aren't you making coin on this, David? No, he's asking you about NMN, and I find it really interesting, you know, people, some people don't realize how widespread the impacts of NMN are. Now here you have this financial podcaster asking about it, concerning about it, concerned about it. And I see this as an opportunity to spread the message. When I see something like that, I'm like, great, we're reaching critical mass, we're reaching more people. David Seclair sees a post and internalizes it, makes it about himself, and starts saying, you know, I'm getting screwed again. You know, for 50 years, for five decades, David Sinclair's been getting screwed. By whom? By whom? He is a millionaire. He is a millionaire Harvard professor. He's used his position and whatever comp accomplishments his lab has come up with to enrich himself for decades. Why are we supposed to feel sorry for him because he's not enriching himself even further. And uh, why, and by the way, I'm looking at this video and apologizing, I wanna apologize for the sunglasses, but I'm just outside here and these are my new prescription sunglasses. I mentioned how well I was doing with the with NMN with my eyes. And I see better with these than my regular ones. And of course you go outside in Florida, having lived in Germany for the last several years, you know, everything's bright. So anyways, back to topic. Why is this about David Sinclair? And, and my sunglasses, right? No, the question was about NMN. The question was really, you know, interesting because he asked, you know, why is it off the market? And Sinclair says, you know, I mean, I'm just, it's just, I'm just getting screwed again and it's still on the market. So are you getting screwed again because it's still on the market? <laughs> or are you just getting screwed again and it's still on the market? Uh, that was that point wasn't clear. Like I said, there's there's ambiguity in the comments of this thread, but there's some things that aren't confusing at all. That that he made he internalized this. You know, he was tone deaf to the question. You know about NMN. He was tone deaf because the guy asking the question, the OP was asking, hey, why is FDA? You know, let's let's really put it into context. Why is FDA saying this can't be a supplement? That was his question. Not that, you know, yes, it's still on the market, not because of you, Dr. Sinclair. It's still on the market because of channels like this, because of people like Daniel Fabricant leading the charge to protect NMN. And brave people like the folks at Do Not Age and the people at uh, Pro Health Longevity and other supplement companies who've opted 
to follow Dan Fabricant's advice and continue selling NMN and file a citizen petition against your efforts. So that's the answer to the OP, right? Why is it still on the market it is the answer. Why, why, it's being banned. Why is it being banned? So if you want to say it's still on the market, it's still on the market in spite of your efforts. It's not still on the market because of you. And is that part of you feeling like you're being screwed? Now, the person who forwarded me this comment from David said, you know, is he talking about Metro Biotech? Now, that could be interesting. Is he talking about FDA? Who's screwing him? Who's been screwing him for 50 years? Again, first of all, I don't see it. I, I don't think anybody, 90% of our viewers, I bet you would say, David Seclair is screwed. He seems pretty wealthy to me. He's got, you know, interests in companies, private companies. He's parlayed his position at Harvard into, into interests of companies, uh, over a dozen, you know, uh, private enterprise companies. He's gonna enrich himself and has enriched himself and he's gonna continue to enrich himself. And even if NMN stays on the market as a supplement, and it enters the market as a drug that he's a part of, he's still gonna enrich himself because doctors are going to prescribe an amen that is within the scope of medicine, within the scope of traditional medicine. Oh, it's a drug, here you are. And patients are gonna take it because their doctors prescribe it. So it's not, they're not gonna run to, you know, to do not age to order when their doctor says you should take NMN, he's gonna prescribe it once it's a drug and they're gonna take that and it'll be controlled. And the doctor will know the, the amount they're taking because he's treating some condition or pre-treating some specific condition that this uh, person, that this individual, that this patient is, suscept is susceptible to. That's the context of this. So it should remain on the market as a supplement as myself, doctors and other scientists have stated repeatedly, we're gonna to continue to contest his efforts, uh, even on vacation, <laughs> we're gonna to continue to contest him. But I simply find the tone deaf nature of his Twitter response is stunning and not surprising that I can't find it. Like, like I said, it's cached in Google, you could search for it, you could search for the OP's name and Sinclair's name, and then you, you'll find a link to this and it goes nowhere, it's a dead link. So apparently they removed it, which further calls into question the quality uh, of his response, the content of his response. is further called into question because he said, you know, makes it about himself. If I'm the OP, I'm saying, dude, I, I literally did not ask about you. I literally didn't ask about your personal enrichment, your personal history, your personal life. You know, I, you know he's probably going to be a lot more polite about it being a public figure. Um, but, you know, I, <laughs> I could totally see him, maybe private, maybe he DM'd him and said, dude, what? You know, what, what is this about? I don't understand your response. So maybe Sinclair thought better of it or his team thought better of it and said, hey, this is probably not something good to put out there in the public. And so they pull it off. So it was a real interesting kind of couple days. This, by the way, this went up April 4th. It could have been April 3rd because it was like 17 hours later when I saw it, you can see, uh, I'll try and post that date, but it was April 4th-ish. So if you guys wanna go back and try and find it, look at it, I'll certainly include uh, in this video the, uh, the post, his original post that he's been getting screwed for 50 years. Uh, the poster asks about NMN. And, you know, why is it off the market if there's so much evidence supporting it? And then he says, you know, it's, we, you know, yeah, again, you, you saw my response. You know, from the aspect of why keep defending NMN so forcefully, so uh, energetically, well, I got a lot of energy thanks to NMN, so I could defend NMN uh, now much better than I could without NMN, thank you very much. So it's a self-fulfilling uh, cycle. You, know, you take NMN, they try and take it away from you, you get a lot more energy to fight for it. That's really what's going on. It's quite, it's quite fascinating to see it from that perspective. Uh, and what I've found amazing is the resonance and support we've been getting from people like Daniel Fabricant, who don't have to prioritize NMN, but have decided, hey, there's a strong case here. This is the moment. Let's fight for this. Let's defend NMN. So I, again, 
uh, encourage you to download that citizen's petition. We'll put it again in the context of, we'll put it in this description because it's valid here to bring it up again. You guys should write, you know, your congressman, you should call them, email them, write them letters. Um, I still plan, I'm still trying to finalize the details to get back here in a couple months for the fly-in day for Natural Products Association and uh, go and defend it. Quick note just about progress I've been having with NMN. <laughs> just anecdotally, I look around, I'm on vacation, I've got jet lag, that's pretty much over. I had two, three days of it, again, just like in October, nothing severe, you just feel a bit of adjustment period, but no crashing, no sleeping for hours at the wrong time. Took a couple naps for like 20 minutes in the afternoon, I was up and going. I've been able to function and adjust really quickly. So I still believe NMN has helped me tremendously with jet lag. This is my second trip home to the US since taking NMN for over a year at that, since that first trip, now close to two years. And uh, it's just been a wonder. Now I look around and I see people roughly my age falling asleep on boat rides. We went on a cool river boat ride. Uh, falling asleep at Disney, falling asleep, you know, in restaurants, just literally like crashing. And I just want to go grab them and say, dude, take some NMN. The other thing that I've witnessed has been really sad, really frustrating. I mean, I've been away from the US for seven years and the obesity levels, man, guys, you know, you know, if it's NMN that gets you there, if it's something else, but you gotta get that excess weight off. Um, if you're suffering from obesity, I feel for you. I was there. I'm, it's, it's easy for a skinny guy to preach against, you know, obesity. I weighed it at 175, I'm six foot three. So I'm quite skinny now, but I've got good muscle tone. Uh, wife's not saying, hey, you're too thin. She says, you look just right, you know, you look good. So I've gotten enough muscle tone and, and bulk that, you know, from working out that I'm not overly thin. But it's easy, everyone could say it's easy, but when I was 240, you know, 245, couldn't fit any of my clothes anymore, only wearing sweatpants all the time, you know, I was technically obese, although I wasn't 300 pounds, you know, like a lot of these people are. Um, but I was big enough to be able to say, okay, you know, lost 70, 60, 70 pounds roughly over the past two and a half, three years. And you can do it too. You know, it wasn't just NMN that was a motivator for me, no question about it, still is. Um, I've uh, had weak moments during the vacation. I ate what I wanted to, but I didn't overeat. So I haven't put on any weight, you know, so it was like a weekend of the vacation when I weighed myself in the fitness center and it was like, and I haven't over, I haven't worked out to my usual regimen. I've only stretched like twice in my full routine. It's much less than I expected. Uh, we've been playing, I didn't play tennis, my sons did. Uh, we hit some golf balls, again, mostly them. They got their first lessons. But, you know, I've been active. I've been going nonstop, had no desire to nap, been going constantly. My kids give out before I do. And um, I'm just really grateful. So hopefully we can continue to uh, to win this battle to protect NMN. I'm sorry, sorry about the uh, shaky uh, phone camera here, but I wanted to weigh in on the topic and I wanted to touch base and kind of did want to brief you guys a little bit on uh, the, what I consider a, a wildly successful, the most successful, easygoing vacation I ever had, which I believe is actually absolutely attributable to uh, NMN and my wellness routine. So it really has added a quality of life at 58 that I just couldn't have imagined uh, two, three years, four years ago. So uh, stay tuned, you guys. Keep following and hope you got something out of this uh, quick, uh, quick message, this quick uh, video post. See you guys soon.